Hi loves, this is BB, Cigar State Sister, and I've finished my running around, so the only thing I gotta get is like, food. <laughs> it's always something, right? Right. Okay, so I got my hair swooped, got the incense going in the car, and I thank you so much for locking into these live streams, and again, they have been pre-scheduled, because by the time you get this, and happy June 1st, everyone, the editors and interns will load up the postings here on YouTube and on all my other platforms. And where are you going to be, BB? I'm going to be over in the Indian Ocean in Seychelles. I used to say Seychelles, but if you're looking at these videos, this is four, fourth one, four, four of the live stream. And so I'm going to be over there for like 10 days enjoying myself. And it's such a great place to go to. It's just like, when people say it's like heaven on earth it's just so beautiful so i've been doing pretty good before i'm going like not a lot of eating and stuff like that because i plan on throwing down when i get over there so for this live stream here we go on some music love to have some music and just like the title says, we have snuff. Okay. It's not a lot of people things, but I love these little cute sachets that I usually get when I'm on the go and on the move when I want to do some snuffing. So what is in this sachet here? It's very beautiful. It's where I get a lot of my herbs and stuff. They send these cute little sachets. So I was like, if I'm going to be traveling with my snuff, then this is a good time to travel with it. And it went from beautiful sunny skies to rainy. So I hope it don't rain over in Seychelles. But anyway, this is a cute sachel, sachet, little baggie that you can put stuff in. And so this is how I travel with my snuff. This is leather and it's long. This is a cigarette holder, extra long. A lot of people use these when they smoke like the 100 cigarettes and stuff like that. So I had these laying around. I got a short one that I keep my um, butane torch lighters in. And then I also keep like my cigarette holder in there for the, well, the cigarillo holder, I should say, for the cigarillos. And then, so I converted this one, this long one into my snuff travel case. And I can't close it because there's something very special in the middle. But when you open up the first one, this comes out. In this baggie here, you have snuff bottles. I'm gonna open it up. And I also have some allergy pills. Like I have the, um, let's see what this is. This is the Claritin retabbies because some of the snuff especially like the german snuff they really take me for a loop and they get my allergies all aggravated so when i know that i'm gonna enjoy that snuff then i just take these so i have like several kinds i got those tabs and then i got these little allergy pills here i got those and then um i have some clear ones here too so I'm always covered if I want to enjoy those German snuffs because they really, like I said, they kick up my allergies, but I'm not going to let them go. So I take these when I know I'm going to enjoy those. And I really thought at first the Indian snuffs were going to give me a hoot of a time through my nose and everything, but they didn't. It was the German snuff, but they're so good. And they're, uh, you know, whatever the ingredients in that they blend them in with the snuff, oh my goodness. It just gives me a time. But when I take the allergy pills, if I know I want to snuff those, then, you know, they're good to go. So this is what you call a snuff bullet. Going to bring it a little closer for you. See that? See that? <laughs> That's a snuff bullet. This is one of a snuff bullets. There's so many different kinds. And I will be showing that as time goes on. But since I'm snuffing in these streets, this is what you call the spoon. And this way you can take it the old method way. Usually when you see me on camera on the first official YouTube channel, 
I'm snuffing with my little created snuffer, which is a more elegant way to snuff. But with this one, when you're on the go and on the move, that one doesn't do as good because you're moving and everything. So you're going to have to definitely convert back to the old school way. And I have them color coordinated so I can know what I'm snuffing and what I'm snuffing. And sometimes I got to sniff them just to see. But usually I try to keep them color coordinated. Well, anyway, you take off the top. I'm smelling this one right here because of the yellow. This is the sixth photo um, yellow lily. And just to show you the snuff, you just pack it down in there, preferably with your snuff spoon. You can take it out of the big containers and take these on the go. Now, I'm not going to snuff this one. This one um, is very beautiful in the nose, though. It smells just like lilies and it has a nice nicotine hit so what i do is just put this back on and i screw it back on and then you put the snuff um spoon down and then you're just ready to go so that's one of them that's in here and i'm not going to just show them all but it's several kinds i'll show another color and everything but now i do have some of those little snuffers and everything that i created you just get snuff bottle tops and then they come with a cork. You can order them um, off Amazon, eBay, and just put in snuff bottle tops. And then you'll see different ones. And they these came with a cork. And they did not come glued on, but what I did is I super glued them. And then when I'm sitting down someplace and I put out my snuff, then I just take this part here, which is a snuff bottle top, and dip it in the snuff, and then I just put in the nose and then have my handkerchief again this is a more elegant way to snuff so I do have these that I take on the go because I do have something to spread out my snuff um let me just show you this one the spoon broke off this one so there's that but I have so many snuff spoons that I carry with me so it's not a problem this one since we're playing snuff smell that snuff and see what it is this is the Kamal. This is an Indian snuff. Um, I think the Kamal is by Dolakia. But if not, then it's by Six Photo. But I would definitely have it in the description box. But here is this snuff in a different color. And this one is very beautiful. And let me tell you about some snuffs. You can snuff it in your nose. And sometimes it comes out through your mouth, the scent. And this is a perfect one if you're going to be up in a lot of people's faces and if you feel the groove to do this one because it smells like flowers. No joke. Like a lotus flower. And it's beautiful within the nose. And so when you snuff this one through the nose, uh, give or take about five minutes, then you start to smell the aroma come through your mouth. And not a lot of them do that. And so I thought this one was pretty cool to do that. So I had to test it out with a loved one. And I was like, okay, I'm going to sniff the snuff, the Kamal. And then I'm going to come in your face and talk. And so as I was talking, the person that I did the experiment on, they was like, oh my God, your breath smells like flowers. And I was like, cool, cool. <laughs> so I don't want to smell like flowers today, even though my breath smells really good. Yeah, my breath is straight. <laughs> okay, so it's a lot of different ones that are in this one. And so I just keep it going and travel with it. So it's pretty cool. So this is what's happening in this particular bin. So I put it back in. And then I have a beautiful other snuff bottle that I'm going to show you. And this one is in a velvet pack here. And when you take it out, out comes a beautiful snuff bullet. This is a different kind of snuff bullet. Look how pretty that is. Now there's several things going on with this one. You can take your snuff this way, but it's hard to 
control it, even though it gives you a nice dose, because what you would do is turn this little thing here to give you a dose and then snuff it up your nose. But a lot of times when you do this, it goes all the way up there real quick and it hits the back of your throat. And sometimes that's not a good thing. I don't like doing it that way. If you notice, there's a hole. See that? This hole is where you can tap out the stuff once you turn it with this little tube here. This locks and unlocks everything. In this one, and I try to color code my snuff, in this one is a snuff by Toke from the UK. And this is Lime Toast. You get the green Lime Toast. Yeah, I get it, baby. Okay. So with this one, um, you can open it up this way to fill it. This one makes me sneeze sometimes, but it's so good. It smells just like lime, like a perfect margarita within the nose. And then when you open it, see how different color that is? And it's very nice. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. And that's this is the one I'm gonna take. Okay, so let me do it this way, because you can do it several ways. But I'm gonna put the top back on. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna turn it up to get the snuff to come out of my hand. See if it come out today. We're gonna see. It might not come out. It might embarrass me because it's been stuck in there. Sometimes you have to tap it to see if some will come out on your hand. I'm going to tap it real quick and see if some will come down. And I'm going to redo it. Aww. Let's see. Usually it does, but sometimes because if it's been sitting, because I haven't snuffed this one in a long time, then it may not come down. So usually it does, but you know, if it's just kind of sitting there um, where it gets real together, then it may not come down. I wanted to come down. Okay, so it won't come down. We've tried that. So I'm just gonna go this way. Usually you just have to kind of loosen them up with the snuff spoon and see how it's packed in there. So see, probably have to loosen it up a little bit. But that's okay. We could do it this way. Just have to do hand coordination so nothing won't fall out too much. Okay, so let me see here. Cut the glare off of the light. There we go. I'm gonna cut the glare off a little bit. As you see, there's some on my hand right there. So then I start to snuff. And it's gone, and I have a little bit more since it's not coming out the other way. And there's a little bit more, as you can see. See that? And then now you can do it off the back of your hand, or you can do it right there in the cusp, which is the original way. That's what they call your um, snuff pocket, the box car method. So, probably have to shake it up a little bit and get it going. Okay. So, there's a little bit in the pocket, if you could tell. So, then you can snuff it that way. And my handkerchief I don't have, but it's nice light in color. And so, if I did a darker snuff, it, I definitely would need my handkerchief because it would be more conducive now this has a nice little kick to it but i'm just going to do it off the back of my hand real quick and then there's some more and i'm not doing big big bumps but it's absolutely delicious in the nose and it does wake you up and like i said it's great with a cocktail drink i'm gonna have another little bit more of this in a nice bit on my hand there. 
you can smell ah, the tobacco fragrance in there and then also you have that margarita lime toast going on and when they talk about toast that means it has a nice drier effect than moist snuff and that's why it's good to refrigerate them especially the toast snuff because then they kind of calm down a little bit and they don't rush to the back of your throat so anyway this was packed in there pretty good and I'm gonna have a bigger bump here so that's a nice size bump so here we go and of course the bigger bumps uh, with the snuff um, in the bigger canisters that I have in my humidors you definitely have to sit there and um, refrigerate those they have to be refrigerated are in a very dark cool place but definitely you want to refrigerate a lot of these artesian snuffs I'm a little bit more dusting over here ah, and I'm good to go so I'm gonna close this back up and it has a nice tobacco flavor to it and then that lime toast is just really good it's just like the margarita within the nose so so at any rate this goes back in oh my goodness that smells heavenly and lovingly <laughs> and snuffingly snuffing so good so that goes back in the little pouch so these are the kind of options that you can have uh, especially when you're out somewhere and you want a nice nicotine hit and you can't enjoy a cigarillo and you can't enjoy your cigars but you can enjoy your snuffs oh my nose feels so wonderful it feels so good it smells so good and then I got that nice little kick now the thing about snuffs they give you a wake up action a lot of them and it just opens you up and then some of them they give you a nice chill down action but the more you become acquainted with them the better it will be so they all go back in here and then I snap this close make sure I get everything back in there so I keep a different array of snuff of me and it just depends on my mood there's a really great one that's gin and tonic and it smells within the nose just like gin and tonic Okay, on this side, we just finished this side. On this side, got some more interesting snuff here. These are more like the green one, the different snuff bottles. And as you can tell there, there's a coupon right there from Two Rose Snuff. My great grandmother, she was a lady of the leaf and she loved her Two Rose Snuff. So I have oh, vintage Two Rose and then the up-to-date Two Rose. So these are the different snuff bullets that I'll be talking about. This one right here is a more cognac dip type uh, snuff, and that's from Toke. And um, I got a brain freeze on the name of that one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but this silver one right there, that is the infamous Two Bro snuff. And I put the vintage in there, so it's very, very nice. Um, the red one that is by Tote, that's the um, peanut butter snuff, which is so fun to snuff within your nose, and it really gets you a little bit hungry, so that's pretty cool. This one right here that I put in the nose, the lime toast, that one makes me want to definitely go get a margarita and go to a Mexican restaurant. I either cook something really good. And then the gold, it's very nice. This is by Tote also. So this whole thing is the Tote line that one is champagne so you see how I color coordinated them with the gold with the champagne the red with the peanut butter the except for that one that's not taupe that's the american scotch and that's the two bros and the silver and the other one is called oh thank goodness spanish gem Whew, i didn't want to leave my live stream and not say exactly what that was okay because I was like brain freeze okay but that's what it is it's a nice cognac so if you have a nice cognac and a nice cigar you could take a nice bump of the uh, snuff and then enjoy your cigar if you want to also in here is this this is When I'm out on the town, I'm entertaining folks, but mostly this is when I'm out on the town. This is the very cool
just wipe any residue off even if you need to wipe any residue off of the snuff but definitely like if some get on you or you can do this might make you sneeze maybe but you could do this also if you don't have your handkerchief and then it just gets it off but really this is for like dusting myself off if I have something on me the snuff so this is pretty cool and I got this offline and I just thought of this I have never seen no one do this but I always try to think out the box and I was like this would be cute if I have a nice little black dress on or something really cute and I go out to a nice cigar event and I take a nice bump of my snuff and then I take this and then just wipe myself off okay there you go that's like very cool so I love that <laughs> always trying to figure out the box okay now I have these other ones that I use quite often this is dark in color and this is the Dolakia Taj you've heard me talk about this if you've been following on the first official YouTube channel there's the spoon and this is very dark in color look how dark that is pull it back a little bit that's dark and it's very heady this is one of those moist snuffs that stays in your nose for hours on hours but if you know that and this is something that you want to enjoy then you would take this up and you're definitely going to need a handkerchief for this one because it's so dark in color but it's so amazing it's this is what i call the sexy snuff because it's very exotic and it's pretty much like a aphrodisiac it's very nice be careful when you smoke this aphrodisiac okay and then this one is one that i often snuff too this is the dragoon it's lighter in color and this is by abraxas has the spoon and then it's lighter in color. This is very toasty too. But this is great with like a nice Thai dish or Oriental dish or even if you're gonna do sushi where my sushi lover is at or seafood, it's just very nice in color. So this is the Abraxas Dragoon and it's very nice. So these are the ones that I really keep in heavy rotation within the nose. And this one is the Cheese and Bacon by toke roderick and company roderick and company they're just so great about their great snuffs this is great for breakfast or if you're having steak or anything like that straight cheese and bacon or a cheese platter or anything like that this definitely makes you hungry and it's also a nice brown in color and it is delicious i bought a lot of this one because <laughs> i want to have it just in case anything goes down and they was like discontinue and I'll be like I got my cheese and bacon so that one is really cool and I try to color code them this little pink thing here this is by Delacchia and I snuff this one often this is the Delacchia rose chocolate chocolate rose rose chocolate it is so good and it stays in the nose for a long time but it is absolutely beautiful within the notes is very heady so this is another aphrodisiac sexy smoke but it's just absolutely beautiful it smells like rose and chocolate with a nice little spice kick so it has that little red in color i also have another snuff that i have with me because i got um the so many other snuffs that i would have to introduce on both channels but this other one that I don't have with me, but I have them in a red case. It's called the Reds Are Coming. Those are like the dynamite snuffs. But one in there, and I keep it covered in a wrap thing just to know that that's the very bomb snuff. It's called Bohica. The Bohica by Fubar is a Mayan chocolate snuff. And it's very hot. If you go on YouTube right here and you put in Bohica, B-O-H-I-C-A, you'll see a lot of people talk about how hot this is. Some people over-exaggerate. But there really isn't 
some people over over exaggerate but there is no exaggeration that that snuff is hot and I do have that and I sniffed a little bit off camera but here's the thing I love spicy food and this snuff is very hot within the nose and they warn you they have all these warnings to tell you how hot it is if you go on mrsnuff.com and you pull up um the snuffs and then you look for i think it's in the american snuffs and then it's foobar f-u-b-a-r and when you look that up it tells you how hot they have all the warnings so i don't know why anybody would want to snort snuff period snuff is for sniffing but i don't know why anybody would want to snort or snuff a whole bunch of that without seeing how you do so here's what i did and i love a nice nice little dairy type thing I tried it off camera because there was no way I was going to try it on camera and look like a fool <laughs> melting down because it's so hot. And I put it in one nostril. And I gently sniffed it. It was the size of a mustard seed. And I just put it right there. No sniffy, nothing. I felt... It go from on a scale from one to ten. I felt it go from one to three real quick. And then I was like, it was beautiful, a beautiful chocolate with a nice have you ever smelled clay or play-doh or mostly clay if you're sculpting, ever been to a sculpting class? It has a beautiful clay scent and it has a beautiful chocolate scent. Like a beautiful homemade hot chocolate and then that burn it went from one to three real quick so then I went throughout the day I was like okay then it went from like three to five and I was like okay all right and so it never went past a five with that little mustard seed and one nostril and then five hours later you know you ever seen that little thing where it says three hours later okay about five hours later this is going into the night i didn't do any more bumps into that one nostril and a gust of wind i think i was walking through the house and i just and this, this wind this wind just kind of came and it went from a five all the way up to about an eight and i felt a little bit more burnt and i was like aha aha I see you, Bohica. So this is how Bohica works. It's just like if you cook with cayenne pepper, or if you cut those really hot peppers, they say put on gloves. I don't put on any of those gloves because you know once you make that one mistake by putting your hand up by your eye and you cut the hot stuff, you'll never do it again unless you're a masochist. But Bohica stuff is for a masochist. I would say that. So I can't even imagine putting two, putting on both sides, do two bumps. Because that one little bump, when that air came five hours later, <laughs> it went from like that five all the way up to eight. And I could feel that little burn. So I was like, oh, so you kind of sit in the nose. And if you don't bother you, then you'll be all right. But as soon as a gust come or if you, if I were to have sniff up real hard, it would have took me for a loop just off a of mustard seed. So I can't even imagine doing a full bump of that. And you won't ever catch me doing that, okay? Ducking my face in some ice cold water or that's not going to help. Just like hot peppers to cool that down. I always tell people you got to put put uh, tomatoes. Then that's what you have to do. Duck your face and to make duck the tomatoes up your nose and stuff like that. And I don't want to do that because that's so cute. So that's how the bohica work. And I am going to snuff that in front of you all. When time comes but it'd be one small bump on one side it will not be two and then we'll see how it goes but it's so good so i guess it's just like you're a masochist because you really love the pain and so you keep trying it so it's not for everyone but that's a really cool snuff right there and then i have some other ones that are really really cool but i wanted to show that to you all my snuffing session so i really appreciate the love everyone 
I'm about to get out of here. The rain is falling and go find me something to eat. But I thought this would be really cool to share with you. I got all my other goodies and I'm going to put this one back in on the other side. And I showed you my snuffer and everything. And oh yeah, just like I did on the beginning of the interview of the um, live stream, not interview, but on the live stream. What's in the middle? I want it closed. Remember I said it won't close? Well, when you're traveling and you want to put your snuff out, if you have other snuffers or other friends who want to snuff, then you're going to need glass. You're going to need some glass to put it on there. And it's a good conductor because it won't mess with the snuff. Glass is a good conductor to keep it cool still from its environment. And then when you put it on there, then it can pick up real easy with the snuffer and just go from there so that's what's in there and then also too you know if I plan on doing my lipstick or my face I mean so it's dual purposes <laughs> all right people so there you go I think my nose is straight with the beautiful lovely lime toast by toke so i'm gonna put all the stuff in the description box or i should say i'm gonna leave the stuff for the interns and the editors to put in the description box when they upload this live stream but i definitely want to thank everyone for the love i'm off to seychelles i always say seychelles it's always somebody trying to mess up the name but anyway when i get back then it's going to be a lot more videos and stuff like that that I will be doing for the June. So happy June, everyone. And thanks so much, Tada Squad, for the love. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the love. And make sure you go over to the first official YouTube channel. And make sure you go over there and see some of those videos. We're going to be loading a lot of stuff there, too, as well as here and then on all the platforms. Thanks so much. And hi to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate the love. All right. So I'm snuffling. So snuffling. I feel so good. Hope you got some really cool tips there. And also, if you want to see some of my reviews on the snuffs. I did a review too on the Bohica. Go on over to mistressnuff.com and when you go and look at the reviews of the snuff, if you want to, then you'll see me under BB. Okay? And to all my friends also, make sure you go over to snuffhouse.org. It's a wonderful chat room for all those people who are curious about snuff or want to hear or join the chat room. I'm over there sometimes. So make sure you go over there and you check that out. Anyway, thanks for the love. I'm off to Seychelles. And have yourself a great June. Peace and love, Ted Out Squad, Stars and Starros. Thanks so much for locking in. Appreciate the love.